Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Peter Gower and today it's gonna to be show you how to create the body of Ellie from The Last of Us Part 2. If you haven't seen the video of the creation of the ad, you can find the link in the description. Before to start, this video is sponsored by you, a digital art online learning platform. Right now there is a special promotion with a special price for the course about the 3D character creation. It's a great course composed by over 100 videos and a duration of 60 hours. You will learn how to create a warrior character for production step by step. It's a really complete course that shows you deeply all the parts and all the steps that you need to know to create a great character. And last but not least, you'll be able to download the resources of the course. If you want to know more and take part to the course, you can find the link in the description. Now, let's get started. As you can see, I used some references, you can find all these images in the Naughty Dog website, just type The Last of Us Part 2, cosplay and you will find a PDF full of major references. Once you imported the references in Blender, the next step is to create the low poly mesh of the assets. So I started with the shirt. The first thing I did was to add a cube, subdivide it in the middle and apply a mirror modifier in order to keep a perfect symmetry. Then, once that the base model is ready, we can add much more details, apply the mirror modifier and create some differences between the left and right part of the body. Then I created the t-shirt using a simple plane and I repeated the same process for the other props.
once that we have all the props the next step is to create the arms uh, so a real common method used by many game studios is to use our base model of um, uh, human body and uh, just uh, take the part you need from uh, this model so I did the same I ba basically I created um, using make human a base model of a human character and I take the arms and other parts that I needed I just duplicated the part, I selected the arms and I placed it inside the character that I'm currently working on We created the character, we created the clothes. The next step is to create the materials. So, in order to do it in the right way, in the speed way, and in the simple way, I decided to, um, to do a bake process of the textures. So basically, I used the major references in order to uh, take the images from these references and put it in the texture of the model. It's a strange, it's a weird method, but it worked and um, it was really useful in order to create a better material once in uh, Substance Painter. If you want to learn more about the baking process and how to do it in a correct way, you can find in the link in the description a video to a tutorial about this kind of method.
last step is to create the materials, so basically I imported the base texture that I baked from Blender and I imported it in Substance Painter, I started to create some details, uh, eye map, roundness and normals, this kind of uh, textures, in order to create the material of the character. <laughs> Another important thing I was uh, forgetting are the shoes. So just create a cube and I shoot it out and uh, make uh, something similar to the shoes. After that, the process is almost ready. It takes me 3 hours, and the guys that follow the stream on my Twitch channel know it. Now you can decide to create a little environment and an idle animation in order to bring her to life. And that's all everybody, I hope you enjoyed the process, if so leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and if, if this video goes up to 500 likes, I will release the model for free on my website pietrochiovro.com. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!